Hello, I'm Patricia Garza Pinto, and I'd like to share a few tips from my Itty Bitty Heal Your Body book to help you along your journey of health and wellness. Today, I'm sharing step 11, stretch like the animals. Why do you think animals innately stretch after a nap? Could it be as simple as a body innately seeking to release stored tension? Like animals, when we're not on the move, we're stationary. The only difference is we're performing differently in the circus of life. We're standing for hours, sitting for extended periods of time. We're using our bodies in ways to keep up with the demands of the modern world. Many of us are stressed, aching, and our energy bank is low, oftentimes equating relaxing with watching television or reading a book. What do animals do when they're not on the hunt or building a nest? Good question. I say, do what the animals do and stretch. Here's why. You can experience greater flexibility, increased energy, healthier joints, expanded range of motion, a decrease in physical, mental, and emotional tension, improved circulation, and stretching and supports healthy organs and increased blood flow. Here are some tips for stretching, whether you're indoors or out. Pick a comfortable and uncluttered space. If you can, focus on your breath and bring awareness to your body. One day, it may be your lower back, the next your hamstrings. Your breath will guide you through the unwinding. Invite yourself into a place of discovery. Hold each posture for six breaths or about 30 seconds and feel the tension throughout your body release. Are you struggling with low energy in the morning? Stretch after you wake up and feel the energy flowing throughout the body. Awakening tight sleepy muscles. I find stretching is better than a cup of coffee and cheaper too, which is why I choose to loosen up and decompress each morning by stretching head to toes. On the other hand, stretching before bed or after sitting in the car for a while feels just as incredible. If you're not sure where to start, consider asking yourself where you experience tension in the body and start there. Many clients I've worked with have experienced tension and stress in the neck. Here's a stretch that is useful in releasing stored tension, improving circulation, and maybe even getting rid of that painful headache. Okay, here's a great uh, tension reliever that you can do any time of the day, standing or sitting. It's called neck side flexion. Very simple. If you're going to stand, I would like you to consider tucking your pelvis under, sucking that navel into spine, chest out, beautiful postural alignment for good core stability. And with one hand, you're going to reach over to the side of your head gently. And you're going to place the palm of your hand over your, uh, your ear. So my fingers are at my earlobes. And then the opposite hand is going to be pushing down gently towards the floor, palm out. And slowly, you're going to pull like you're pulling your head away from your shoulders. Okay, and then you're going to hold it there while you're pushing the palm of your hand down on the opposite arm, slowly and gently. And then to add a little more of, of a stretch, you want to take your eyeballs and focus up at the corner of the ceiling somewhere high or in the sky if you're outside. And you want to do it about six breaths or about 60 seconds. Oh, very good. And then when you're finished, you want to slowly release and bring your head back to posture very slowly. And then obviously repeat the same on the other side. So do what the animals do. And if you're not hunting or building your nest, discover the healthy habit of stretching, even if it's a damn good yawn. Until next time, wishing you a harmonious mind, body, and spirit.